So, is Google Workspace for Education Plus worth it? It's a question we get asked a lot, and to answer that question, I will first go and walk you through what the different upgrade variants provide you with. Based on that, I will then give you some examples of how we have seen schools and districts utilize these functionalities and why some of them have chosen to go for a number of these upgrade licenses. Google Workspace Standard is going to add functionality that revolves around security and data privacy. So a few things that will be added is, for example, the ability to choose a region to hold your data. You will get options to manage apps that store passwords, and you will have an enterprise endpoint management. These are some of the most noteworthy features that are added with this license. The enterprise endpoint management gives you more control over iOS and Android mobile devices that your employees use to make sure that your data remains safe and secure even when your employees use their own device. And finally, some of the other things that are added has to do with the security of your Gmail. As you can tell, Google Workspace for Education Standard focuses mostly on security and data analysis. Teaching and Learning License Upgrade adds functionality like breakout rooms, attendee management, polls, Q&A features to Google Meet, but also some quality enhancements. Using this license allows you to increase the number of participants up to 250 participants at a time, where originally this was set to 100 maximum participants. To make the call quality even better, this license also adds a high-end noise cancellation built into your meetings, so you can easily focus on the speaker without getting distracted by the construction work in the background. Soon, they will add the feature to add add-ons to your classroom. This helps you to easily add new tools or material from external sources directly into the classroom. For classroom, you'll be able to make unlimited use of their originality report so that teachers can easily prevent plagiarism by checking for peer matches across a private repository of past student work. Schools that use this upgrade license want to focus on digital learning. As you can tell, it adds a lot of functionality specifically for Google Meet and for Google Classroom. The Google Workspace for Education Plus license brings both the benefits of the standard and teaching and learning upgrade, but also adds some new ones. One of them being that you can automatically free up unused resources in Google Calendar if all but two guests have declined a meeting. It also adds the ability to dial in to meet to a meet call by phone, and you can restrict app access based on a user's and device context like if the user is logged in, from what location, what the device security status is, and their IP address. Soon, it will also include the ability to sync your classroom rosters from your student information system. You will also get faster direct Google support if you have over 200 Google Workspace for Education plus upgrades. Okay then, so now that we know what every single upgrade does, when would you want to use which one? Now, with the Google Workspace Education Standard, I've seen that some organizations decide to purchase a number of upgrades for only a specific number of administrative staff. Now, they want to make sure that they can store it in a specific data region, then the standard upgrade can help you with that. It is also something that is being used by schools that do special education, that are more akin to a health institute than that of a normal school. In that case, then maybe there are more types of dossiers or kinds of situations where you find data integrity and data privacy and security to be your utmost priority. Then we have the teaching and learning upgrade. Now, this is one that mainly focuses on digital learning and using Google Meet and Google Classroom. This is often used within schools to purchase licenses, for example, specifically to teachers. The whole point being that in this way, you as a teacher could set up your meet sessions and then have all the functionality that you would have in terms of the Q&A functionality, breakout rooms, etc. Because if cost is an issue, then only choosing the teaching and learning upgrade might actually be the way to cut some cost and still provide your teachers with the necessary tools that they require to efficiently teach within a digital classroom. And then finally, we have the Google Workspace Plus. When a school or district decides that they want the best of both worlds without paying too much, then I often find that they choose the plus upgrade. 
The whole point, of course, is that you get the benefits of both the standard and the teaching and learning upgrade. But on top of that, we get some other benefits. One of the other things that you might have already noticed is the way that the licensing works. Now, if we go to Google Workspace Education Standard, we see that you get one free staff license for every four student licenses. This is not the same as with teaching and learning upgrade, but we do see it here again with the Google Workspace Education Plus. Get one free staff license for every four student licenses. Now in this way, looking at the price model now in dollars, you see that for the functionality that's being added, the Google Workspace Education Plus by far is the most cost efficient upgrade that you can choose for your organization. Of course, then you can still decide how you want to go about this. Maybe you don't need every single employee or student to be assigned a license, but instead you want to assign them to specific members. All right then, to finally go and try and answer my own question, is Google Workspace Education Plus worth it? I think it is worth it in certain situations when you need that extra functionality. Within Google Workspace for Education Fundamentals, you'll find that you already have a wide range of tools at your disposal without additional cost. But if you are doubting or are confused about when you would use which upgrade license, do try and reach out to a Google partner. For that matter, if you have any questions in terms of licensing, in terms of these upgrades, feel free to contact us. You can find then feel free to contact us. On our webpage, you will find a way to contact us and I'll also leave our email address in the description below. If you have more questions in general in regards to Google Workspace for Education or any other admin related questions, also let us know in the comments down below. And I hope to see you in the next video.